what up, what up? It's been just over a month since we set up the honeypot and now it's time to analyze the results. So if you haven't watched the first part of this experiment, I'll just give a quick recap. Basically, I set up two servers, one that'll be logging login requests. I forgot to mention that I set this one up in Atlanta, by the way. And a second one that has something called endless SSH, basically to just waste people's time who try to connect to it. That one was set up in Mumbai, India. These were both set up on the 2nd of March and I stopped the collection of data on the 4th of April, which is about two days ago. So just over a month. When I collected the data at first, I kind of felt lazy. I was like, you know what, let me just throw all this data into Excel, make up a few charts, you know, use sorting formulas so that everything is easier. And then I decided, nah, let's put our scripting skills to the test, won't we? So I decided to make a Python program. I wanted to add a whole lot of functionality like uh, printing out the top 10 IPs from a data set, printing out the most used password, the most used username. But while I was coding that, I quickly realized how complex that program was getting and I hadn't even planned it out. So I quickly dropped it. Yeah, I'm an embarrassment. But I did then cook up a janky quick script that works for the most part. After all that's been said, here's a quick summary of the results from the honey part. In total, there were 48,496 SSH login attempts. In my opinion, that is a huge success and a huge data set to work with. These 48,000 requests came from 193 unique IP addresses with the top one having 13,848 requests. Wait, yeah, 13,848, which is crazy. That person really wanted to get in, huh? The most requests were from China, and then the Isle of Man, and then from Russia. At first I had no idea what the Isle of Man is. I was like, no way, that's that's an actual country, but it apparently is, I guess. By the way, I have no idea if the attackers are actually from these countries, or they're just tunneling their traffic through these countries, you know, proxies and VPNs and whatnot. I don't know if you can tell. Please do let me know if there's a way you can tell. Anyways, the top password used was the number one with 717 attempts. I actually never thought someone would use the number one as a password, but uh, the numbers don't lie. It's a thing. The following top passwords are admin, a blank password, root, and 123456. The most used username was, take a guess, root. It was root. Whoopee. That is honestly the first username I would try if I was trying to brute force something or port 22 SSH. This username, the username root, was used a whopping 39,395 times, which is a whopping 81%, roughly 81% of the time. I was just mind blown at this point. By the way, do I say by the way a lot? Anyways, I've finally gotten to make it a Discord server, so a link will be in the description below. Check it out. I did try putting all this data and location stuff into a nice world map cabana elastic search type thing so that it looks cool and it actually looks like a sock but I couldn't get that working I kept on getting some geospatial data error I did try generating or converting the data into some geospatial stuff but that obviously didn't work if you know how to get that down do let me know once again just a quick tangent, with the number of things I always ask for help with when I say I don't know something and didn't work, people still hit me up and think that I'm some sort of expert. Bro, I'm not, but it's all good. Hit me up. All in all, I thoroughly enjoyed this experiment. It was fun, to be honest. I will make a video on how to set up the honeypot for yourself if you want to conduct this experiment as well. And then I'll also leave a link to the Python script on my GitHub so that you can process the data after you've collected it. That is it for me. Like I said, join the Discord server. It's gonna be a ton of fun. But until next time, don't get hacked, stay out of trouble. The learning continues. Peace, my brothers.